Are there birds in here? It's the phone. There are birds in the phone? I had to get a new one. The old one was a hunk of junk. Hello, Corner Gas. How can I help you? Yeah, hi. My battery's low, so... Hello, Corner Gas. Make it quick. The battery's gonna die. Well, anytime you want to answer it, feel free. I can't yet. It's charging. So you replaced the phone that didn't work with one we can't use. What did that upgrade cost me? Whatever's missing from the till. Uh, I'll have the tofu salad, but replace the tofu with chicken. So, the chicken salad? Oh, no. It's not as healthy. Since when do you care about being healthy? Since always. I'm just kicking it up a notch. You know, eating right, exercising. What about you, Karen? Oh, I think I'm in pretty good shape. No, I mean, what do you want to eat? Oh, um, can I get the cheeseburger with bacon and fries and gravy to go? You ever heard of vegetables? There's lettuce on it. Lithium battery, 600 meter range. You could use that thing across town. I can't use it here. How am I supposed to check with Lacey on the lunch specials? It's called walking. Oh, good idea. Who should I call to walk over there? Don't touch it. It has to fully charge. Fully. I'll go to the room before you. Hi, Lacey. You probably think I'm going to horn in on what you're doing and want to help, but I won't. Thanks for the heads up. You know, I, I don't know if this is a fundraising calendar or something, but I'm not interested. Can we get more coffee? Is this a fundraising calendar? Yes. Featuring the ladies of Dog River. I see. Okay, Lacey, if you want to help, we need someone to be Ms. April. Oh, wow, you, you guys, I am so honored. We mean... Help us find someone to be Miss April. Oh, well, I see. Oh, because I'm not a lady of Dog River. I'm still an outsider. No, you can be Miss April if you want. It's just that, well, it seems silly now, but we didn't think you'd want to appear naked. <laughs> oh, am I? Y you want me to be naked? Hey, before you drop your drawers, what are the specials? Why didn't you answer the phone? I tried calling three times. The new phone's charging. It's kind of a hassle, but that's balanced out by not having to take your calls. Pork chops and tuna melt. Together at last. How much you pay for a fancy cell phone like this? It's not a cell phone, and don't touch it. Well, if it's not a cell phone, then where's the cord, smart guy? He's got you there. Hey, these lunch specials, do they come with soup? Maybe I should call over there on the not yet fully charged phone. Don't touch it. It needs to charge fully. Fully is the point. I'll go ask about the soup. Why don't you use a cell phone? It's not a cell phone. So what kind of plan are you on? Well, not completely naked. We're tastefully covered up. I mean, by a fence or a door. <laughs> I'm going to be in a canoe. Well, that is great. Everyone in town naked. You know, this town. Fun, huh? Maybe you can give us a hand and get other people. Naked people? Like me? Naked? In this calendar? Naked. Well, of course. <laughs> you know, because if there is one thing that I love, it's being naked. Before you ditch your britches, what's the soup? I envy you, Karen. Wish I could eat like that. Nah, I have a high metabolism. <laughs> no, I meant not caring about what you look like. Are you calling me fat? No. You look great. Hank said I should eat vegetables. Forget about Hank. I like a woman with little meat on her bones. Oh, Hank wanted to know when these comics came in. I guess I should call him and let him know they're here. Just wait one more hour. It will be charged. It's partially charged. It's partially fully? Hmm? It has to be fully. Fully! Do you hear me? Hey, Olivia. 
The new comics are in. Oh, thanks. Olivia? Newton John? Let's get physical? Oh, no, uh, not right now. I'm about to work out. Spin class? Cool. That's right. I'm doing something about it. Maybe you'd like to join me. Sure. Do they supply the plates or do you bring your own? Not that kind of spinning. It's on a bike. Ooh, like the circus. No, it's not like the circus. There are no plates, no clowns, just a bike. Damn. I love the circus. I gave Hank the message. Hey, I got your message. Well, I suppose I should call Mom. You know, let her know Dad's still here. Knock yourself out. The phone's charged. Fully? Mm-hmm. Oh. It's not as satisfying as I'd hoped. I'll do it later. You're out of toilet paper. That's a paper towel roll. Same diff. <whistles> Cell phone's ringing. Leave it. Let the machine get it. Gotcha. <whistles> Hello? Hey, you guys here for spin class? Yeah. But uh, FYI, it's not like the circus. Well, that looks good. Can I have a bite? Okay. Come on. You know what? You can have it. Hmm. I thought this was supposed to start at noon. Where's the teacher? You're looking at him. Okay. No, I thought you'd be looking at me when I said that. Oh, so you're the teacher. Oh my God, you're the teacher? Let's spin. Is this that naked thing you were going on about? Yeah. And, and you know, as awkward as this is, I'm just supposed to ask. Sure, I'm good to go. Where do you want to do this? No, not here. Outside, the light's better. No, not now. And, and I won't be taking the picture, so. You sounded pretty into it before. I am. Very into it. I love anything that's, you know, risque. Risque? Ow. Like wearing red pantaloons? <laughs> Settle down, Doris. Look, I am very cool with this. All right, in fact, yesterday, I thought to myself, I would love to get naked. Hello? No, this is not corner gas. Do I look like a gas station? <laughs> this is my cell phone, jackass. You're eating up my minutes. <laughs> okay, let's hold this pace. It helps if you visualize. Imagine you're at the Tour de France, watching from the sidelines on a stationary bike. Come on, Davis, you're not gonna watch someone win the Tour de France like that. Spinny, hard. Take a look at Karen. Now that's how you spin. Thanks, Hank. Teacher's pet, you. Davis, if you're gonna keep talking, I'm gonna have to see you after spin class. Ooh. Hello? Hey, baby. <laughs> Just on my way home. Are you talking on a phone in the car? Yeah. Well, Barrel's fine. See you soon. Told you. <laughs> Talk to you later. What is that? Hello? It's a cell phone. Don't you know anything? Hey, Karen. How's it going? Good. Uh, listen, you know that calendar Emma and I are working on? Oh, uh, the naked thing, yeah. Well, we were just wondering if maybe you'd like to be in it. Oh. Though, I, I should warn you, some of the ladies will be scantily clad. Scantily clad? What are you, 70? <laughs> no, it's just, you know, not everyone is as comfortable with the whole naked thing as, uh, say, I am. So where are you thinking we do this thing? I don't know, the, the police station or maybe by the cruiser. Okie dokie. Okay, no, no, no. 
Put your clothes back on. We'll, we'll do it later. Someone else will take it later. Open your eyes. I'm clad again. Where'd you get that, anyway? Brent gave it to me. From on the counter where I found it. I'm calling them. Good luck. They never pick up. Do you know where the phone is? I thought you had it. What are you calling me for? Call Brent. Hey, guys. What's going on? Oh, Lacey wants me to pose in the nude calendar. Hey, can I be in it? No, keep your clothes on, Davis. What? I'm just going to show you some pictures. You have pictures? Oh, yeah, but don't worry. I'm tastefully covered up. So that one's called Good Cop? Ugh. No, Davis, you can't be in the calendar. Oh, I get it. Teacher's pet can be in it, but not me. Hey, I didn't know you were a teacher's pet. I was a teacher's pet. I am not a teacher's pet. Hey, great work all yesterday, you guys. And Karen, thanks for the apple. Teacher's pet? Anyway, thought you should know. Bye. Mom just left a message. Dad's using the new phone as his cell phone. What? Wow. Your parents' place is like a kilometer away. Told you that thing had good range. Yeah, way better than the old phone. That could only be used around here, you know, where we are. It's easier, baby. Fine, I'll go to your parents' place and get the phone. Maybe bring back some diapers for you to wear, too. See if she has any cookies. And this one's bad cop. Very tasteful. Hey, guys. Well, well, if it isn't spin teacher's pet. You, uh, come to Paul's teacher's bike before class? <laughs> <laughs> I think spin class is stupid, too, you know. We didn't say it was stupid. You hear that? Teacher's pet thinks we're stupid. Huh. Hey, guys. Who wants to help me set up? Not me. I'm talking to my friends. Anyway, I'm back here. <laughs> what, no apple? Hi, Emma, is Oscar here? I think. Oscar! <laughs> what now? Give me that phone back or you'll be needing it to call a hospital. This cell phone makes you sound terrible. You sound like Wanda. Okay, that's it. That's what? Hello? <laughs> you better hope I don't catch you! All right, everyone. Prepare to enter the spin zone. <laughs> oh, okay. Who put this tack here? Hmm? Who's a wise guy? I did it. Karen, I'm disappointed in you. Disappointed that you cover up for your so-called friends. Now, who did this? Okay. Nobody wants to fess up? Then you all got detention until the person responsible comes clean. Detention? This is spin class? That's five. Five what? That's ten. You want to keep going? Because I can go all the way up to, like, 80. So let's go, 10 minutes hard riding, come on. Karen, you don't have to do this. No, I told you, 100, 200. You can deliver 500 for all I care. Just stop calling me, jackass. I gotta tell Brent to stop giving out this number. Oscar, isn't that the corner gas phone? Mind your own business. Nudie. Oh, busy. Typical. Look, I'm sorry. What was I supposed to do? Stay in detention even if I didn't have to? Yes. Okay, wait. Check this out. Would a teacher's pet do this? Karen! Is that what you think I am? A dictator? He gave me the slip. You know, for a guy in his 60s with legs like a chicken, he can really move. Maybe we should get Davis and Karen on it. Yeah. 
If only we had some manner of telephoning device to call them. Your dad will run out of power soon. He'll bring it back. No harm done. Where do you want your 500 cases of wiper fluid? 500? I ordered 100. Oh, you were pretty clear on the phone what you wanted, jackass. No harm done. Get the phone back from Dad before he gets me killed. Hey, guys. Look, I was just thinking. Um, you know, it, it doesn't seem fair. I'm naked all the time. <laughs> And, and, you know, I thought maybe we could, we could open this up to people who don't get the chance. Like Davis. Have you seen his photos? Yes. And that Christmas card. You're not backing out, are you? No. Because we booked a photographer for tomorrow, and he's taking pictures of you here. Amazing. Amazing. Ooh. You know, tomorrow not a good naked day for me. I I'm frying a lot of bacon. You're not nervous about being scantily clad, are you? Scantily clad? What are you, 70? 74, but that's sweet of you to say. Hmm. All right, everybody, let's spin! This teacher's way harder than Hank. And I want you to spin way harder than you did with Hank. You should be happy. You made Hank quit. <laughs> for not raising your hand. Ooh. I've got a problem. Can't keep your pants on, I heard. Look, there is a photographer waiting next door to take a photo of me naked. You gotta help me. Was your zipper stuck? Don't haul me into your crazy orgies, sinner. Oh, come on, Brent. Look it, I am not into this whole naked calendar thing, okay? I can't do it. So don't. I promised your mom. Oh, she won't care. She's surprised you made it this far. She is? Sorry, but you're not exactly a free spirit. We know you better than that. Really? Yeah, now, uh, just hang on. I have to press this page button for a second. So all this time, you knew I was uncomfortable with the whole calendar thing? Well, I've kind of got to know you over the years. Oh, that is so sweet. You know the kind of person I am, and you're okay with it. Um, yeah. In fact, you know what? I think I can do this. Lacey, uh, you don't have to. No, no. It's okay. I feel at home now. <laughs> Watch me. <laughs> so bad it's actually it's kind of liberating <laughs> I couldn't get the photographer what well who's that guy I've got no idea can I get a coffee to go She's naked over here. Yeah, everything. Hey, Hank. Listen, I'm sorry I made you quit. You know, it's funny. I was the teacher, but in the end, you ended up teaching me something about myself. What's that? Well, that people see us as they want to see us, in the simplest terms most convenient definitions. But what we found is that each one of us is a brain, an athlete, basket case. Isn't that from The Breakfast Club? Yeah, I rented it last night. Great movie. See you around, kiddo. Don't you forget about me. I get it.
So, no more spinning class for you? Nah, I gave it up. I felt like I wasn't going anywhere. How did you get that job anyway? You know, everyone asked me that. And let me tell you, it's quite the story. Wow, that is quite a story. <laughs> and to think it all started with a tornado and a cat. Hey, is this the story about how Hank became the spinning instructor? Yeah. How'd you get that job anyway? You haven't heard this? No. I was at home watching a TV show about a tornado and a cat when they called me up and asked if I wanted to be a spinning instructor. Wow. Yeah, I mean, you can't make this stuff up. So you can hear me okay? Yeah, it's clear. Is that a cordless? Well, it works anywhere in corner gas, if that's what you mean. The best part is it's completely idiot-proof. Just getting in the car now! 